Most of our videos here at Sports Bike Shop are about the kit we wear. After all, kit's our job, so it makes sense. But doing that job also means getting to ride some really cool bikes. We're lucky like that. And some people have asked us to make videos about the bikes as well as the kit. So here goes. First up, the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R. This bike is the result of two decades of GSX-R 1000 development, and it's reached the point where it pumps out 202 brake horsepower and is dripping with electronics that make it far easier to ride this bike than it should be. Seeing as it only weighs 203 kilos, that's near enough one horsepower for every kilo, which is pretty standard now in the Lita Sports class. And that's just nuts. The numbers are intimidating, but starting with the rider aids wound up tight and gradually releasing them means you get a gentler introduction to life on a Lita Sports bike. First of all, there are the rider modes. A mode is the sharpest and the most direct on the throttle. C is the most gentle and B kind of sits somewhere in the middle. After playing around with all three modes, I've settled on B. Mode C was a bit lame in all but the sketchiest weather. A wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be, but I just found that B gave me a good balance. It was similar with the traction control. I started with it on the safest level, but that was interfering too much. Even when cruising away from roundabouts, the TC light flickered in and out, and the engine note was fluttering as well as the traction control kicked in. On level seven instead, it left me alone when I was riding normally, and it occasionally threw a TC light at me if I got a bit too heavy handed. And I've left it there ever since just to play it safe, really. It's not as if these controls make the GSX-R 1000R any less nuts. It just means you get to choose your own level of nuttiness. The quick shifter, which works up and down the box, makes accelerating through the gears feel like silenced gunfire. That was once I'd worked out how to use it properly, overcoming my instinct to dip the throttle slightly every time I wanted a clutchless shift. Dipping the throttle actually stopped it going into gear, so I had to train my right wrist to stay where it was for gear shifts. I've ridden quite a few 1000cc sports bikes over the last 16 years. In fact, the first one I ever rode was a GSX-R1000, and I rode the first four generations of this bike. The earliest models felt like burly brawlers, and gradually over the years, they've become tighter, leaner, more densely packed with power. This model came out in 2017, and it's the lightest, the most focused GSX-R1000 of the lot. Refined isn't the right word for it, although they're easier to ride now thanks to all those aids that you've got on hand. It's just like the Insanity is more tightly crammed in than it ever was. The suspension's more track focused, the riding position is more condensed. I might as well be honest, sports bikes are never gonna be on my personal shopping list. I don't fit them particularly well, and I want different things from my bike. I want to go further, and I wanna take more stuff than I can fit onto the piddly pillion seat. There's also the small factor that I'd need to find 17 grand to buy a new one of these. But it's hard to spend some time with a bike like this and not come away with a hell of a lot of respect for it. This bike has the potential to be an absolute animal, but it doesn't demand that it gets to behave like one. I might not want to own one, but I've had a bloody good time riding this bike over the last fortnight, and I've still got another week before I have to give it back. Here's hoping the weather stays dry.